So we converted our path strokes into outline strokes. And now it is time to combine all of these outline strokes into a single what we call compound path. A compound path is going to give us an outline of this object. And if we have shapes in the inside, as you can see right here, let me go to view outline, the negative shape that we have in this corner, in this corner inside of the letter E, and in this section right here where the E and the S connect, those will be turned into paths that will act as masks, meaning that all of this will be one single outline, solid black, even this piece is right here. But this path will work as a cookie cutter that will allow us to see through the black. So how do we convert all these paths right here into a single compound path? What we're going to do is we're going to select everything with our direct selection tool by doing a click and drag. Notice that all of these are different paths, right? I want to show you the sub layers so you can see what's going to happen. And right now my thumbnails are really small. So I'm going to go to the layers options and I'm going to go to the panel option. And under other, we are going to type 100. So we get a thumbnail that is 100 pixels by 100 pixels. I'm going to hit OK. And the Pathfinder is the tool that we're going to use to combine all of these paths into one single path. And for that, we're going to go to Windows, Pathfinder. Let me put the Pathfinder on the side right here. And the operation that we're going to use is going to be Unite, which is the first icon right here. Now, we have an entire video on the Pathfinder in our Fullerton College Digital Arts YouTube channel. Make sure that you guys go to the dart 100 playlist and it should be called pathfinder all right so let's unite all of these paths right here and notice that these four sub layers will turn into one single sub layer and that we're going to generate an outline that's going to incorporate these shapes right here so it's going to be everything from the outside in and then we're going to have these newly created paths that are going to work as a mask so let's do that. And there you have it. Notice that now we have a single sub layer called compound path. And as you can see right here, these inner paths work as alphas. Think of these alphas as cookie cutters that cut a hole through this black shape. I can demonstrate this by creating a gradient rectangle behind this object right here. So I'm going to do a marquee shape first. I'm going to switch this from solid black to a gradation. And I'm going to move this behind our compound path by going to Object, Arrange, Send to Back. And as you can see, we can see through these four shapes right here. And if I was to move any of these shapes right here, let me click this right here, get it out of the way. Notice that this masking reveals the black shape. The next thing that I want you to notice is that when I select any of these paths right here, you're going to notice that they're going to tell me that these paths are filled with black and have a stroke of none, which is what the outer outline is. If I was to, for example, select one of these paths right here and I change my color, let's say, to red, notice that this will be applied to our entire compound path. So if you wanted to, for example, add a different color to these paths, you would have to break this compound path into the outer outline and the inner paths. And the way that we do this is by selecting the entire compound path and then going to Object, Compound Path, Release. When you do this, notice that it has released the inner paths on their own and they carried the color information from the outer path. That's why in the layers, you will notice that those four shapes that we had that worked as a cookie cutter, this one here, this one here, here, and this one here, are now separate. However, they are filled with the same color as the outside one. In order to change this, what we're going to do with the selection tool, I'm going to select these inner paths right here and I'm holding the shift key to add my selections and what I'm going to do instead of red I'm going to select my fill color and I'm going to make it white 
And now when I get out of outline and I go to preview either GPU or CPU, notice that these inner paths are white. If I was to hide these inner paths, you will see that the outside shape right here, it's made out of one continuous shape. So this is how we can convert a bunch of paths into one single compound path and how to release the inner shapes outside of this compound path so we can add colors to those shapes.